Hi guys, I'm going to do a cane today. Now it is going to start off as a chippy choppy, so that's going to be the base of the cane, but obviously it's not going to stay as a chippy choppy. So stay tuned. And all you're going to need for that is um, some white clay, and I'm using Primo, and some Cernit translucent. You don't have to use Cernit. And if you're wondering, Cernit bakes at 265. Primo bakes at 275 or cures at 275 but Cernic can withstand that extra 10 degrees if you're going to mix clays you need to go with the higher um, temperature to make sure that this one cures uh, Cernic and Primo are fine together obviously you've got to be careful which clays you are mixing because some some clays cure a lot lower but Cernic and Primo together are fine and just bake on 275 so that's the clays you're going to need, other than some um, liquid translucent clay. I'm also going to be using some gold and silver leaf in the sheets, as well as the flakes. And also some white pearl mica powder, and I think I've got everything other than blades, rollers, etc., that kind of thing cutters oh I've not decided which cutters I'm going to use yet but it's exciting because I've had some custom made by Ojoy Creations I'll show you all of them I'm not going to be using all of them um, this is the first set that she did me I absolutely love that shape um, these ones as well Oops, throwing things around again already. These ones as well, alongside um, with two smaller mirror image ones. So there's those. And I absolutely love these ones as well, these long triangle ones. She's done me loads, and these are all custom made. Um, this shape as well. <laughs> and it just goes on this shape. I'm really digging the triangles. So I will link these in my um, description. And she, again, she's got the mirror image ones there as well. And these ones. And these ones with the mirror image. Like I say, there's a lot. And I'm not going to be using all of these today, but I will use them in future tutorials and these ones try and organize these a bit better and again with the mirror mirror image in the smaller sizes I think that's all of them did I miss any I'm sure oh this one well, I've already shown you that one, but I'll show you in... Oh, no, I haven't shown you. Yes, I did show you that one. It was the first one that I showed you, and I forgot to show you the mirror image. Anyway, there are all the cutters, but um, I think I'm going to go with this one today, the second biggest one. As I put, put it back. Derp, 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 that one. And because I love the triangle so much, I'm going to go with that tall triangle, and I might even throw in some earrings as well so they're the ones I'm going with aren't they gorgeous I just love them right so that's all the cutters out of the way so let's get started now you know me I'm not like that precise on measurements so I'm just going to say cut a big chunk of <laughs> translucent I'm going to keep saying CERN it now aren't I cut a big chunk of translucent I want it to be a big enough cane so let's go let's say this is a two ounce Let's pretend it's a two ounce block of clay. Um, I think that should be enough. And then I'm going to get another decent chunk. Let's just say that's one ounce. And then another chunk of the same size. <clears throat> so again, roughly one ounce. And I really should use a bigger knife for that. OK, 
Okay, so that's all the clay I'm going to use. So I've got this for my chippy choppy. This is going to stay translucent, but this one I'm going to take some white and mix it up into the translucent clay. And we're talking uh, a tiny bit. We don't need a lot. Let's just see what this looks like once I roll it into a ball and that way you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to say... Um, two pea sizes. I'm just going to take a little bit off. So yeah, two pea sizes of white clay and that's just going to get mixed into that so you can see roughly how much I've got there. So I'm going to go and roll this through my pasta machine so the white's thoroughly mixed in and I'm going to take this down to a number six and the same with the translucent without any white that's going to be rolled onto a number six and I'll be back. So I rolled those two strips into long strips like this on a number six that's the white mixed with uh, the trans mixed with white and then this is the translucent so I'm just going to put those to one side for the minute and I did forget something as usual you're also going to need some white liquid clay and I think that's everything right let's get on with this chippy choppy then so just the standard good old chippy choppy and it's going to be transformed into a cane so I'm cutting fairly angular pieces as usual. I don't particularly like the pieces too rounded. And I'm just going to throw in that little heads up again like I did last time. When you're doing chippy choppy, it's not necessary to pre-condition the little pieces that you're going to chop up. It gets conditioned as you work with it. And if you see a lot of, you might see a lot of videos um, especially on TikTok where they do a lot of chippy choppy on there you don't need to precondition it and a few people have asked me that so I'd just like to reiterate that and the other thing I want to um, say as well always check out um, my pinned comment in the comments section it should be the first comment that you see when you go in um, I don't always pin one, but just check to see if I do because um, sometimes um, I might add a little bit of extra information that I might have forgotten to include in the video or if I screw it up somewhere, I'll explain how to rectify, rectify it. Um, so just always check out my pinned comment, guys, because um, I do get a lot of messages. There was one video where I forgot to put the liquid gold on both sides of the, the gold leaf, so it was having issues sticking. I had a brain fart moment, I didn't think about it and of course I got about everybody and their dog telling me that I should have added the liquid clay. Well I'd already pinned that information in the comments section. So please make sure you check that um, first guys. Thank you. Alright so I've got these pieces roughly chopped for now. Um, just separate any larger chunks but it's no biggie if they stick together at this point because we're just going to throw in some of that white pearl mica powder that I showed you at the beginning and this just helps to separate those pieces because you give it a light dusting of powder and then you can re-chop that's how I do it anyway and just break up any bits that are really stuck together and then just tumble that clay into the powder like so oh no I've changed my mind sorry I was just thinking out loud I was thinking should I add some glitter to this but no I'm not going to change my mind I want to keep it quite pure all right so when you're happy that that's mixed in pretty good then you can go back in and chop and it does help to see what the pieces look like so you can tell how much more you want to chop. That's just how I like to do it. And I've just lost a piece and I've got an itch. Well, it's been one of those weeks, guys, in terms of 
creating things. I've got so many ideas running around in my head, but for some reason this week, just about everything I've tried, it's like, eh, don't like that. Mm, don't like that. <laughs> um, so when that happens, I don't forget those ideas. But if it's not working for me, I go away for a little bit, think about it some more, and then come back to it. Um, because if I don't, I end up wasting so much clay, and I've, I need to stop doing that. But anyway, this is this was one of my ideas, and this one came out okay, so that's why I'm showing you this one. All right, so when you're happy with your, your chunks... You can make them as big or as small as you want. I like to keep mine fairly big and maybe just add a few little ones. So you can cut some pieces finer. That's just how I do it. And then you can just throw them into the mix like so. So I think that's good. And now I'm gonna add my little pieces of gold flake. Give it some bling. I'm not going to saturate it with that. And then some of the silver as well. And I said you needed uh, liquid translucent. You don't. You need the white. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so used to using this in Chippy Choppy, but today, forget, forget I said that. You don't need the translucent. You just need the white liquid clay. Oh, my brain. Whoops, I'm running out of this. I'm going to have to get some more. All right, so, you know, however much you want of the the flakes. And if you did want to add some glitter in there, it's perfectly fine to do that. And I'm still contemplating whether I should or not. Um, no, I'm going to leave it. Okay, so when you're happy with that, just get your white liquid clay not your translucent your white and just all over make sure you've got enough in there so it covers everything hopefully it will and I meant to put my gloves on for this part and I forgot oops so just tumble all that together <clears throat> I have been wearing gloves for this part recently because I do get a bit sick of the mess on my fingers but I forgot so when you're happy with that make sure it's all nicely stuck together but we're not forming it into a block we're forming it into a log so this is where chippy choppy loses its identity a little bit because it's like hey what wait a minute you normally form me into a block what's going on sorry chippy choppy i'm forming you into a log today and i'm just going to grab some wet wipes baby wipes give my hands a bit of a clean Oh, I've got some bits stuck on my blade there. Give my blade a bit of a wipe. Just generally clean up a little bit. I'm waiting for my husband to get me those um, some industrial sized wet wipes. They're brilliant and I ran out of them so I'm stuck with huggies at the minute. And they're all right, but the industrial ones, they're, they're so thick and you can use them, you know, you can reuse the same one quite a few times before it renders useless. Okay, so I've got my chippy choppy, but chippy choppy's not a block, to, uh, a block today. Chippy choppy's going to be a log. And I'm going to make him a little short squat log like so and I'm just going to go and stop recording for a second 
because I don't know if I'm imagining this or not. Has my phone fogged up again? I'll be back, guys. I'm just going to check. I guess it wasn't foggy. It must be my eyes. I'm getting a bit paranoid about that one thing because it's happened a couple of times. But no, it's fine. Anyway, so let's carry on with the log then. And I'm, I'm, all, I'm already done with it. So little fat um, squat log like this. And as I was saying before about not worrying about preconditioning chippy choppy pieces, it's nicely conditioned now because you work with it so much that it gets conditioned as you work with it. Right, so I'm going to get my strips over here and I know I'm going to make a pig's ear of it already. I can tell you right away <laughs> that I'm going to make a pig's ear of it guys because this is where we need to add the gold leaf I'm scared oh dear do you know what I've changed my mind I'm not going to do it that way derp 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 I'm going to do it this way I'm just going to make sure that my strips are wide enough which they look like they are but I'm just going to squat this down a little bit just to be safe so like I say this is rolled onto a number six so it is quite thin so you have to be a little bit careful with it now this is the translucent that I'm putting on first and I'm just gonna roll this out a little longer because I want it to fit I don't want to have to faff around cutting off excess if I can help it I'm just tidying that edge up sorry guys I'm off camera a little bit but I've just placed my log on my strip like this and I'm just going to roll it just one time give it a little rock here and it should leave you a little mark where you can cut she says but because it's sewn it it's so sticky it's stuck together all right so that's the first little wrap And now I am going to make a pig's ear of it because this is where I do bring in the gold leaf slash metal leaf. I hate doing this, guys, because I make such a mess of it. But I'm just going to hopefully... <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Let me just wipe my fingers. They're a bit sticky. I'm trying to not make a complete mess of it, but we'll see so just um, <laughs> roll that in the gold leaf and you can always patch bits up afterwards this doesn't have to be perfect and precise you're just getting a nice layer of um, that metal leaf on that translucent clay well that wasn't too bad Oh dear. Right, let's move you out of the way. And now I'm going to get the white, the, the translucent mixed with white strip, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to roll this baby up. This is a little raggedy on the edges, so I will tidy that up a little bit just a little bit get rid of these oops same thing I'm just going to wrap it up again just one time give it a little rock and you should be able to see where to cut and it's quite awkward doing this on camera oops oops broke <laughs> just gonna pop that on there right give that a little bit of a roll just to make that sure that seams joined up a bit better not that it's a big deal okay so there's that now I'm gonna get the silver now the silver leaf oh dear. so I've got my silver leaf coming up And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to try and 
separate that a little bit and oh my gosh it's already sticking to the clay do you know what I'm just gonna do that I don't care <laughs> oh my gosh so I'm gonna have to um, bodge this a little bit just add little bits here and there where it missed but you get the idea guys I'm not making excuses I am I mean I am a little bit I'm not that good at applying this without getting into a mess um, but having said that it is quite awkward when I've got a camera stuck right in front of me like literally just below my nose so it doesn't help to the, add to the awkwardness of doing this but I'm not very good at it anyway but you know right but you know me don't care it all come out in the wash so I'm just gonna give that a little roll so now we've got a layer of silver leaf a layer of gold leaf a layer of the translucent mixed with white and a layer of the translucent and I'm just gonna wipe these bits up a bit and now we're going to go back to the translucent and we're going to do the same thing so I think instead of torturing myself in, in front of you all I'm just going to repeat that step until all of this all of the strips of clay have run out so next is going to be translucent with um, gold and then the, the translucent mixed with white with silver and so on until you've run out of your strip I'm probably going to get two more strips out of each I would think and I'm just going to push this in a bit because it's looking a bit wide now for my um, strip of trans. Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one. Like so. And I'm going to wrap this again in the gold metal leaf. And I'm going to repeat those steps until I'm out of strips because I'm getting in a mess with this um, metal leaf. All right, so then I'm just gonna get the gold and wrap that in the gold and so on and so forth and I'll be back. I've let this rest for a little bit and tried to cool it down a little bit. I know it's not like a permanent solution, but it helps a little bit. All right, so there's the, there's the log, but now I'm gonna take this into a triangle. So I'm just gonna pinch up the ends to turn it into a triangle and you can turn and stretch I probably should have um, you know what I probably should have wrapped this in another layer of translucent guys I'm gonna do that I'm sorry guys I'll be back <laughs> okay I wrap this in a little thin sheet rolled onto number six again of the translucent it just makes it a little bit easier it's because I ran out and I didn't think to do that until now all right so I'm just gonna form this into a triangle I want it quite pointy at the top so I'm just pushing pressing stretching a little bit try and get a nice triangle shape this is coming away a little bit at the bottom no worries. Okay, now I only want three inches of this. So we're at three and a half, so that's good because I'm going to cut the ends off. So just try and get a nice crisp triangle as best you can. I mean, I'm not overly precise about this. This is, um, I don't particularly want it to be a perfectly uniform cane. I don't throw these bits away because they'll make something luscious. I'm just getting rid of the ends so you can see better nice little triangle there let me see how big this is I just want three inches that's a little bit over so let me just cut that away I'm just going to cut three one inch pieces and I am so bad at doing this as well guys so I'm just going to do that 
and then cut down and then line it up a, a little bit as best I can. I'm so rubbish at cutting equal portions, I really am. And then there was just a little bit there that needs to come away. So hopefully that will work. And then all you're going to do is um, get your three pieces. I'm just going to triangulate them a little bit more, if that's a word. Probably not. Triangulate. Sounds like it could be. Now, what am I doing? That's the top. So make sure you get the pointy, pointy bit at the top. And hopefully these all match up nice. Onto the bottom of this one. I can't tell now. Hmm. I'm going to say that's it there. So just get your three sections <clears throat> and now you're just going to put them together as you would a cane. Why does that look wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh, they all look the same, so I can't work out which is the top. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. I think. Anyway, <laughs> just put them together. It doesn't matter that much. It's a triangle. Just put them together like this. Simple, she says. And like I say, there's all these gorgeous pieces left over which you can use. You could just you could either just use as is, roll them out and make a pendant, or you could throw it all together and chippy re chippy chop it back up and just do a chippy choppy. Okay, right. Now this is the bit I don't like doing because this has got to be reduced once so I've cut it in half. I hate doing this bit. I really do. But anyway, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm just going to bring it to, towards me so I can actually see guys and then I'll show you once I've done it because I don't want to. So I've cut it in half like so. And I actually cut it in half pretty good for me, so. And then I'm just going to, you can tell I'm not very good at canes, can't you? And I'm just going to squash it back together like that. Make sure it matches up both sides, though I'm not overly worried. Because this is quite, um, not, what's the word I'm looking for? I always want to say random. It's not that uniform once you've messed around with it and rolled it out I don't particularly want it to be I'm just getting the general shape to start off with and then I like to play with the slices once I've cut through them so I'm not that bothered if they don't precisely match is what I'm trying to say and so you've got this nice big round plug but it needs to be reduced so I'm not going to bore you with that on camera, but I'll just show you a little, a little bit of the way. So I'm just kind of pushing it in. And I'm trying not to lose too much of the edge. But it will um, concave as you go, as you work with it. So you will have to cut away some of the edges. But again, it won't go to waste. Because we've got those other lovely pieces that we can just add that to. So I'm just going to take this round and I'm kind of pushing in the middle so it, I'm giving it a bit of a waste and this looks a bit bulgy but it will do, don't panic. And I'm just going to start to gradually middle to the edges and just pull and pull, pull and turn, pull and turn, pull and turn. Now I'm not going to take this down really small. I don't want to lose too much of the pattern. I'm just going to keep going. And then you can give it a little roll in between. Now you can see this looks all knobbly and weird. But we'll cut those away. And I think I'm good with that and just give it a little roll and a little squeeze here and there but just want to make sure there's no air bubbles in there and I think I'm good with that so I'm just going to cut this in half so you can see 
and it, it really doesn't look like much right now it, because it is translucent it's not that defined but you will see what it looks like when I'm done all right so let's make some pendants I'm going to cut fairly thick chunks pieces so that's about an inch maybe maybe just a little bit less than an inch I'm going to flip it on its edge like that on its side and I'm going to get my roller and I'm just going to start rolling gently to start with I'm going to flip it and roll on the other side just to help it catch up a little bit and I'm just going to keep doing that just to stretch it out and like I say you really can't see that much at this point because it is so translucent I'm always scared to death these pieces won't work out you know <laughs> whenever I do a tutorial I'm just going to get my um, little measuring depth measuring sticks again these are in Ojoy Creations shop which I will list or link in the description and I'm rolling this out <clears throat> onto a 2.5 thickness I like that thickness you might want to make them thicker but these do come in three sizes and they go up to three millimeters so that's up to you but this is the thickness I prefer so when you've rolled those out and they're nice and even let's grab my gorgeous cutters again from Ojoy Creations I think I'm going to go with the smaller one though and I'm just going to place it on there and grab a block and cut it out and it's as simple as that so this is really quite an easy thing to do and I just love how they look once they're baked and resined I just need to grab some paper so I'm going to gently lift this because it is sewn it and it is extra sticky unless you leach it and all that means is you place the clay so let's pretend this is just some translucent clay sewn it translucent clay put it, place it on some paper put another piece of paper on top and it just helps to leach out um, some of the wetness of the clay so it's less sticky and I've got a bit of blue something there so that's the first piece so I'm just going to leave that on the paper I'm just going to run my finger around the edges a little bit there's a little bit there that sticking out so I'm just going to get rid of that so that's the first piece and again guys you really can't see the pattern too clearly at this point right let's do another one so again a fairly thick chunk of it and I'm just going to roll And I'm going to roll and turn as well just to try and keep the shape somewhat, uh, the pattern somewhat how I want it to look. But you can distort this as much as you want. You can stretch it out one way or another, whichever, whatever you prefer. It doesn't have to be perfectly uniform in my opinion. Again, I'm going to take my little sticks and roll this out to 2.5 millimetres. And I'm going to grab, uh, I think I'm going to grab, I, I absolutely love this, not this one. I mean, I do like that one, but where's it gone? There it is. I'm going to grab this triangle. I absolutely love this triangle shape. And I'm just going to cut that out. lift that away again don't throw these scrap pieces away to me it actually isn't scrap because it hasn't turned into that muddy colour once it's a muddy colour then I consider it scrap but until then it's usable even muddy coloured clay is usable for fillers or backings or whatever but there's that piece and like I say this is 
still very sticky. I'm just going to put that on there. I've still got like really bad dry skin guys look I just it's taking forever to heal um, I don't think I don't know we're not talking about my fingers again it's boring all right so that's that piece and I am going to do some earrings to go with that so I'm going to cut out another thick chunk and roll again I'm going to get my little sticks again. Oops. And I'm going to use that um, same triangle shape, but in the smaller size. What did I do with them? What did I do with it? There it is. So I'm just going to, um, actually I am going to, oh, I don't know whether to do that or and that, so I'll get two, but then it will lose some of that pattern. So I'm going to, I am going to go in the middle guys and I'd have to roll another one out. So they match, but what I can do is cut some little earrings out from there as well if I want to. So there's that one, and I'm just going to cut one more chunk to make the other earring. And I think that will do for today. So I'm just going to put that on there. Make sure I've got everything. Roll this out again. So, getting in a bit of a mess again over there. I tend to just toss things to the side and then wonder why I can't find it. Roll one last time. And let's do the other earring, like so. Okay guys, so that's that. I'm just going to go and bake these when they come out of the oven and they're cooled down. I will give the edges a sand and they will be resined front and back. And I'll be back to show you. So them's the pieces. All right guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, I finished them. I resined them. Uh, UV resin by the way and that is listed in my Amazon storefront <coughs> excuse me I just pushed a jump ring through and added this gorgeous little charm let me just show you these you get a whole box it's cubic zirconia and you get silver and gold in there again listed in my Amazon storefront but that's the piece guys that's the first piece and then I've added some chain and these um, this toggle clasp again in my Amazon storefront so there's that one that I did on camera and then this other one that I did did the same thing I did the charm the chain and the toggle clasp and that's that piece I just love these they're so pretty and I did some earrings to go with that one and I just did the same thing and I pushed some hoops through again these hoops are in my Amazon shop so there's those pieces and I think that's a really pretty set. Personally, just try and arrange them a little nicer. They're a bit awkward with the hoops because everything flops around. There we go, that's those. And then I'm just going to quickly show you some more pieces that I made just so you can get an idea of those other shapes that I showed you. Although it's not all of them, but they're all going to be listed in um, Ojoy Creations shop again link in the description and they will be under the um, clay boutique custom make 
cutters. So there's all those pieces as well and those shapes. All right, guys. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'm just going to put these down so you can see. And that's all the pieces. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Bye.